Hello everyone, this is Jay from Broke Gaming and welcome to another Road to Worlds episode. And today we are obviously uh, playing the Quad Labrys as I have been playing in quite a few of the videos recently. I am working on a new deck, so definitely be watching out for that here in the next few episodes. So today I really wanted to go over quickly because Guardians Rising has been released most of the pre-releases if you guys went to a pre-release definitely hit me up uh leave that comment in below and tell me what you got or hit me up on twitter we do have a twitter the link is always down there in the description so definitely check those out so anyways i just wanted to go over my top 10 cards from uh the guardian rising set so at the number 10 spot i am going to have to say that Raquaza is a uh, definitely a contender here. It's because of its 120 HP a one its retreat of one lightning weakness uh, So and fighting really is the only thing that can take it down. So mostly Importantly for two colorless energy Rayquaza can use the turbo storm which deals uh, 30 base damage and accelerates two basic energy from the discard pile onto a Pokemon on the bench So it's a really good tech card and I think it'll be a one of in a lot of decks. So Turtonator GX is number nine. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of Volcanion EX, but uh, Turtonator makes this deck so much better. It dishes out 160 damage easily, It's G uh, but its GX attack is freaking amazing. It allows you to attach five energy from your discard to your bench any way you like. So it's going to make Volcanion even better than it already is. So number eight here, we're going to go with Drampa GX, and basically it uh, has good attacks, it has good stats, and there's really nothing like it in the game right now. Uh, it seems to fit really well alongside Lugia EX uh, and in the Decidueye Vileplume deck, so it's going to make that better. And uh, it can help slow down uh, opponents in mirror matches, such as if you're in a mirror match versus Mega Mewtwo or Mega Rayquaza, it will help slow them down. Um... Sylveon GX is number 7 here, so it's going to be an amazing deck. Plus, with the Energy Evolution EV, it's going to be that much easier to get it out. It's going to be uh, really, really, uh, really good. <laughs> so, um, you, uh, like, so, taking a look at Labrys GX, instead of using Collect, you can just uh, pick three cards from your deck with Sylveon's Magic Ribbon. So, I mean... You're basically going to get whatever you want, so it's better than Labrys GX with acceleration, and it's it's just going to be amazing. And actually, I'm probably going to play it some in this series, so definitely be looking out for that. So number six is Rescue Stretcher. There's not much to talk about Rescue Stretcher if you guys haven't already uh, seen it. Rescue Stretcher basically uh, is a uh, super Rod, but in decks that Super Rod was played, Rescue Stretcher will pr prove to be... Uh, Basically, Super Rod doesn't even need to be there anymore because uh, it can getting basic energy back. Uh, so Mega Gardevoir EX, Mega Mewtwo EX will definitely benefit from this, uh, and uh, it will kind of make Dragonite EX kind of useless. So it's definitely going to be a utility card for those decks. Number five is Aqua Patch. Aqua Patch is something that is really good currently and is going to make Labrys GX a lot better. Um, plus. Uh, it basically, if you guys don't know what Dark Patch is, it's basically a repaint of Dark Patch, but for uh, water Pokemon. So there uh, doesn't need basically there doesn't need to be a Turbo Labrys deck that plays both Elixirs and Patch. So uh, it's 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 gonna basically make Max Elixir a lot less useless in the decks, but it's gonna speed up the deck. So number four is Garbodor from Guardians Rising. It's going to pair really well with with the Guardian uh, Garbodor from Breakpoint that we already have and that have we have been seeing a bunch of play. So I'm not going to go into too much about this, but it does uh, the, it's an easy 120 160 damage and it is going to pair well with Yavadal EX Garbodor, Tapu Lele GX Garbodor, all those. Uh, it's been doing very well in Japan, so I would assume that it will do well in the United States as well. So number three is Choice Ban here. Uh, obviously, for obvious reasons, it's going to do 30 more damage to EXs and GXs. So it is basically a better Fighting Fury Belt if you already have a bunch of HP. Number two is Tapu Lele GX. Once again, for obvious reasons, it's Wonder, uh, its ability, uh, Wonder Tag basically pulls any supporter uh, that you can 
find in your deck and boom, you have it in your hand. So basically you can get whatever supporter you need. And number one is Field Blower. It basically takes out a lot of decks. So Decidueye GX File Plume is going to be an easy stuff. So, I mean, it's going to take out tons of decks. And those are my top 10 cards. So definitely leave a comment on what you think uh, is going to be a good card from this. And don't forget, guys, to always like and subscribe if you haven't already done that on this video. Uh, my name is Jay from Bro Gaming TCG. And don't forget, trainers, to always keep on battling and keep on pursuing those dreams.